What's up, family? Joe Biden, your president, was outside of the White House on July 4th. That's Independence Day for America. While he was gone, the Secret Service conducted a routine search of the premises at the White House. And they found cocaine in the West Wing. Yeah, fam, cocaine in the White House. Can you believe it? Yeah. The West Wing is a part of the White House that Joe Biden often frequents. Yeah, yeah, a lot of questions, fam. A lot of questions. Who's been treating their nose to the white candy? Yeah, man. Who's been sniffing that stuff? Could it have been leftover cocaine that Donald Trump left in the White House? I mean, could Donald Trump have left that cocaine in there? Could it be that Trump was using coke? How many of y'all think Trump was using that cocaine? Is it possible that somehow he left it behind? Somehow he was a user and he left it behind. Is that possible? All kinds of theories are running wild, man. They're saying all kinds of things. Other people are saying, you know, perhaps Hunter Biden, you know, he has a history of treating his nose and other things when it comes to drugs, you know. Hunter Biden, Joe Biden's son, is a crackhead. Yeah, man, the President of the United States of America's son is a crackhead. Very interesting, though, that while Hunter, uh, while Hunter Biden was treating his nose, his daddy was, like, basically laying down the law against people who were convicted of cocaine abuse. Now, was his son doing it back? Was he, was he old enough to be doing crack at that time? I don't know exactly how old his son is, but the daddy, we know for certain, locked a whole lot of people up that were on drugs, that used drugs. I mean, any type of association involved crack cocaine, he was very, very hard on people. There are people still doing decade-long sentences behind uh, a law that Joe Biden championed. And it's very ironic that his son turned out to be a crackhead. Look at God. <laughs> Look at God. <laughs> Let's get back to the White House. The White House and a white substance. At first they thought it was something else. They didn't know what it was. They thought it was some type of deadly substance. I guess it is a deadly substance to a whole lot of people. A whole lot of people have died using cocaine. Now they find cocaine in the White House. That's cold-blooded, man. Is there anything that these people are not capable of doing? Now, here's the thing, fam. Do y'all think that when Joe Biden gets back, he's going to say, hey, that was mine? <laughs> y'all think, think Joe Biden using that crack, you know? Call him Sleepy Joe, but the crack make you stay up. From what I understand, with well, the cocaine it's supposed to make you stay. I don't know. Y'all think he used Joe Biden? Who cocaine is that? Y'all know for a fact there's no way possible that the president of the United States is gonna take the fall for some crack cocaine or for some cocaine. Uh, they'll pin it on one of those workers. They'll pin it on one of those poor little old workers, man. You know who's probably making minimum wage or. You know, somebody who's just making a little, a little over minimum. I don't know what the hell they pay White House employees, but they'll probably blame it on like a lower level employee before they blame it on anyone that's a member of the uh, Biden administration. In any event, fam, on a personal note, I'm not surprised that they found cocaine in the White House. What would surprise me is if they had found some morals. 
honesty, integrity. Yeah. That would have surprised me. But what say you, fam? Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk. What the mate is talking about.